This topical gel, Captrio, is used to treat a certain type of acne called acne vulgaris. It helps to decrease the number and severity of acne pimples and promotes quick healing of any pimples that do develop. The three main components of this gel work together to combat acne. Clindamycin is an antibiotic that stops the growth of acne-causing bacteria, while benzoyl peroxide also stops the growth of acne-causing bacteria and causes the skin to dry and peel. Adapalene, on the other hand, belongs to a class of medications called retinoids and works by affecting the growth of cells and decreasing swelling and inflammation. It is recommended to apply a thin layer of the gel to the affected area once daily, preferably in the evening, after washing the skin with a mild cleanser. Be sure to follow the dosage instructions provided by your healthcare professional. Before using Captrio 0.15%-3.1%-1.2% topical gel clindamycin, make sure to read the patient information leaflet and instructions for use from your pharmacist. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. If it's your first time using this product, check if you are allergic to it by putting a small amount on one or two small areas of acne for three days. If you have an allergic reaction, stop using it and get medical help right away. If you don't have a reaction, you can continue using the product. Before applying the medication, wash and dry your hands. Clean the affected skin with a mild or soapless cleanser and pat dry. Apply a thin film of the medication to the affected area and gently rub it in as directed by your doctor, usually once daily. Wash your hands after each use. Remember, this medication is for use on the skin only. Avoid using it around your eyes, nose folds, inside your nose or mouth, or on any areas of broken skin unless directed by your doctor. If it gets into your eyes, flush with large amounts of water and call your doctor if eye irritation develops. Benzoyl peroxide may bleach hair or fabrics, so use this product carefully and avoid contact with hair, clothing, and furnishings. Use this medication regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. Do not use a larger amount or use it more often than prescribed. Tell your doctor if your condition does not improve or if it gets worse. Lastly, women who are pregnant or may become pregnant should not handle this medication because it can be absorbed through the skin and may harm an unborn baby. During the first four weeks of using Captrio 0.15%-3.1%-1.2% topical gel clindamycin, you may experience skin redness, dryness, peeling, mild burning slash stinging, swelling, or worsening of acne. However, these effects usually improve with continued use. If they persist or worsen, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Your doctor may recommend using a moisturizer, reducing the frequency of use, or discontinuing use. It's important to note that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. It's possible for this medication to be absorbed into your bloodstream, which very rarely can lead to a severe intestinal condition caused by a bacteria called C. difficile. If you experience persistent diarrhea, abdominal or stomach pain, or notice blood slash mucus in your stool, contact your doctor immediately. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. This is not an exhaustive list of potential side effects, so be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. In the US and Canada, you can report side effects to the relevant health authorities using the contact information provided. Remember to always follow your doctor's guidance when taking this medication and to seek medical attention if you experience any concerning symptoms. Before using Captrio 0.15%-3.1%-1.2% topical gel clindamycin, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to adapalene, benzoyl peroxide, clindamycin, lincomycin, or vitamin A-related drugs. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss any allergies with your pharmacist. It's also important to inform your doctor or pharmacist of your medical history, especially if you have eczema, certain intestinal problems, or a history of severe diarrhea with past antibiotic use. It's important to limit your time in the sun while using this medication, and to avoid tanning booths and sunlamps. Make sure to use sunscreen and wear protective clothing when outdoors. 
If you experience sunburn or skin blisters slash redness, contact your doctor. Also, wait until your skin has completely recovered from a sunburn before using this product. While using this product, avoid electrolysis, waxing, and chemical depilatories for hair removal on the treated areas. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, do not handle this medication, as it can be absorbed through the skin and may harm an unborn baby. It's important to discuss pregnancy and the use of this medication with your doctor. It is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk when used on the skin, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. It's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that may occur with Captrio 0.15%-3.1%-1.2% topical gel clindamycin. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist to avoid any serious side effects. Some products that may interact with this gel are other acne skin treatments such as tretinoin and dapsone. Also, it's best to avoid using other skin products that could be harsh, irritating, or drying on the treated area, such as hair perming solutions, alcohol-slash-lime-slash-menthol-containing products, medicated or abrasive soaps and cleansers, and cosmetics with a strong drying effect. If you have recently used products containing sulfur, resorcinol, or salicylic acid, it's important to use this product with caution and wait until the effects of those products on the skin have decreased before using Captrio 0.15%-3.1%-1.2% topical gel clindamycin. Remember to always follow your doctor's approval and recommendations when using this medication. If this medication is accidentally ingested, it can be harmful. If an overdose occurs and there are severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical attention by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can reach out to a provincial poison control center. This medication should only be used as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Do not share this medication with others. It is important to follow the dosage instructions and apply the topical gel as directed by your doctor. Be sure to wash your hands before and after applying the medication, and avoid getting it in your eyes, nose, or mouth. This medication is typically applied to the affected area once or twice daily, as directed by your healthcare provider. It is important to use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. Remember to use it at the same time each day to help you remember. If you forget to apply a dose, do it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for the next dose, just skip the missed one and continue with your regular schedule. Don't apply a double dose to make up for the missed one. When using Captrio 0.15%-3.1%-1.2% topical gel clindamycin, it's important to store the container upright at room temperature, away from heat, and not to freeze it. Make sure to discard any unused medication by the expiration date provided by your pharmacist and keep all medications away from children and pets. Do not flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard this product when it is expired or no longer needed, and consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA. 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.